Today we're going to check out the pheasant's nest formation. The pheasant's nest formation is about 75 metres thick. It makes up the lowermost unit of the Illawarra coal measures and is uh, mainly made up of interbedded lithic sandstones, siltstones and minor coals. What's interesting about this unit is one of the first things you may notice is that the grain sizes within the class themselves, within the matrix, sorry, are larger, which may indicate, or which does indicate, that it was deposited by faster flowing water. And this is also interpreted um, when you look at the um, laminae itself. You can find that there's some cross-bedded sandstones, um, some siltstone lenses, kind of deposits that you would see uh, within a channel-based deltic setting. Another thing, or one of the main reasons that I really like this place, is that there are a lot of colified and um, pre-mineralized woody remains within um, the matrix itself. Now these were probably deposited uh, during um, you know, overflows or large amounts of sediment um, and water flowing out of um, or through the channel settings themselves. And if you check out some of the beaches near this particular area, you'll find um, within the sort of cobbles and stuff of the sand, of the sandy beaches, you'll find a lot of um, petrified wood. And these woods um, from this period would probably be made up of uh, glossopterous and other, um, you know, cool climate um, plants um, of that time to um, 249 million years ago. For me, what I find interesting about checking out some of these pre-mineralized um, pieces of wood is that you can actually see the growth rings themselves um, within the plant remains. And this, I, I think, is pretty interesting because you can see the years that took place in that period for the life of that plant. Um, in a period of time when this uh, sediment was being deposited uh, to form the pheasant's nest formation. So if you get the time, go and check it out. 